Okay, so we've traced the, the water coming into the property via the rising main, feeding the downstairs um, appliances via mains pressure. And um, as the water comes into the property, it branches off to feed the, the downstairs appliances. And one branch of it comes upstairs um, directly into the cold water tank. Um, now, the cold water tank, the level of the cold water tank is set by a ball valve or a ball cock. And you can see that when I push this float valve, ball cock, ball valve down, the water comes in. As the water rises, it lifts the float and that automatically shuts off the supply to that tank. So the tank should be at a constant level. As soon as you open a tap um, upstairs and the cold water is allowed to flow out, this allows the float to drop, which allows the mains water to come back into the tank so it keeps the tank at a constant level. The little white tube that you can see, or pipe that you can see at the end of the tank, is the overflow. So if for some reason this ball valve uh, this ball cock doesn't shut off the cold water supply and the water is allowed to rise higher than it should do the surplus water will go out through the overflow that travels down through the pipework through the property um, through the outside wall and you must have a visible sign that your tank is overflowing and that visible sign is the overflow sticking out of the wall and you can watch the water running out of it if your tank is overflowing. So that's where the water comes from the rising main up into the cold water tank. Um, there are a series of pipes coming out of the cold water tank um, to feed the upstairs taps. So um, the water, this tank is set above, obviously in the loft space, it's set above those taps and the distance between this tank and the taps that it feeds at the lower level is called the head. Now that is that, so the higher that tank is in the air, the greater the head, the greater the pressure of the water feeding the upstairs taps. So again, to recap, water comes into the property through the rising main. Part of that rising main feeds the downstairs um, taps and toilet system, washing machine, etc. And then the other part of it comes up and feeds the cold water tank fills the cold water tank and the water from the cold water tank feeds the upstairs taps bath hand basin etc um, you can quite you can see if it's overflowing so you know if there's something wrong and the tank is obviously insulated um, for during the cold weather so that's where the water goes to when it's come into the property